So we're out here at Oakville and uh, I'm at the back of number 204 Old Stock Root Road where it, um, there is a survey mark. Now there's a, a new fence here and this is the thing that does frustrate surveyors. They pull out an old fence. You can see the old fence lying there, the post and bits of wire and rubbish. They pull it out, put a new one in, but the corner is actually just where my feet are and you can see a GI pipe just there in the in the video it's one foot six off the corner so it took me a while to find that thankfully again I have my trusty metal detector courtesy of PHM and I was able to find it quickly but uh, yeah, just some of the frustration surveyors face on a daily basis when you think the fence is right and the fence is not right. So you are buying property and uh, you have a fence and you didn't put it up and you didn't get a, a surveyor to do it. You don't rely to be on the boundary. So we're on the corner of Oakville Road and Old Stock Root Road in Oakville. There's supposed to be a um, GI pipe one foot six off this corner. I've had a good look and unfortunately I haven't found the pipe. I've just written on the post here, you can see pipe not found at 300 deep. Uh, might just help the next surveyor if they come along and perhaps are looking for it. If you were doing a subdivision or something that required the boundaries to be fixed more precisely, especially for Old Stock Root Road, well then you would have to look for this mark and try and find it. You might have to dig a bit deeper, but for now, I'm confident that somewhere up that road there is another GI pipe and it shouldn't be disturbed. And I'm fingers crossed I can find it. There are a few things here that you can see there's a Telstra pit Another Telstra pit there. There's a survey reference mark here. And a big high voltage power line. And a bit of digging and filling and cutting and what have you. So that the, the ground level here has potentially, or could have been potentially disturbed since the mark was put in in the 60s. So um, that's a long time ago and a lot of things happen over that time. So not to worry, we'll forget this one for now. We'll adopt the, um, take a, we'll take a reading. Take a reading with the Leica GS18T using a Leica CS20 controller. Change the code. Call it line of old post and we'll measure it you can see the accuracy here 16 mils by 17 mils not bad for GPS and tilt it's been stored so we'll do some calculations now and see if we can find this next pipe So whilst using the pipe I found at the back of the property I was working on and the old post, which I showed you earlier, I did a calculation, localization, and I staked out the corner or a pipe on the corner of lot 11 in Oakville Road here. And I came up trumped once again. I found the old pipe. The thing is the uh, fence is not in the right spot because the pipe is one foot six or 0.457 meters away from the corner. So the post is actually on the road, which doesn't really matter. The good thing for me is that the pipe is still there. It's sitting underneath a concrete footing, which holds this post, which is not a great thing. If this post gets removed or, or new fence built, then that pipe's a goner for sure. You can see that someone's put a galvanized nail in the top of the pipe pipe's about 20 mils diameter so having a nail there with a precise point just sort of makes it makes the measurement slightly more accurate I'm going to use a 
my Leica GS18T with a tilt compensation, which is one of the benefits of having this machine because I could break some of the concrete out. But to get this pole vertical would mean that I would have to break the concrete because the concrete's in the way. So by having the pole on an angle like so, I can take a reading quite accurately and the machine will calculate the tilt and apply that to the measurement that I've made. So that's all very exciting and uh, that should get me out of trouble for today. If you like any of these videos, um, feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like any information about the location of these uh, survey marks, if you're a surveyor working in Sydney, feel free to give me a call and I'll be happy to share the MGA 2020 coordinates with you. Zone 56, County of Cumberland, Oakville, New South Wales, Australia. That's where we are. Hope you're having a great day, everyone, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.